Doctors are testing the new Ideal breast implant. It combines the natural feel of silicone with the safety of saline. And these implants come with a trust fund attached. New Central's Lisa Siegel shows you how to cash in on a larger cuff size. I'm excited to be one of the first. Marlin is the mother of a three-year-old daughter. She's one of 500 women across the country participating in a trial for the Ideal implant. I wanted the natural look. I wanted my breast to look like what they did before I had my daughter. Dr. Robert Hamus of Texas is treating Marlin and designed the Ideal implant. It's a saline product with a new design that he says provides the natural look silicone is known for without the chemicals in a silicone implant. We designed it so that it doesn't wrinkle. We designed it so that it has a natural feel and designed it so that it fits their chest wall. Dr. Hamus says silicone implants carry the risk of silent rupture, a condition where chemicals might leak into the body without a woman's knowledge. While that's rare, it is a concern for some who want the procedure. I've always been very athletic, um, didn't ever want to take that risk of that rupture and me not knowing that you know I have some chemical in my body and I have no idea. You could call the ideal implant the trust fund implant. Women must pay for their surgeries, but if they complete a 10-year FDA clinical trial, there's a financial benefit. Beverly Hills plastic surgeon Jay Calvert is part of this clinical trial. He says the trust fund is like an insurance policy. Women pay the $68 to $7,500 for their ideal implants. The company then puts $3,500 in the woman's trust fund. Ten years later, that should grow to eight to ten thousand dollars. Women who enter the study will then have the comfort of knowing that there's money for them at the end of the study if they do all their follow-ups and complete the study properly or if problems come up and we need to draw upon that money and stop the study then there's money there to do that. Most women can comply with the follow-up that's necessary for the study and so at the end of the study they'll get a check. Dr. Calvert says he's excited about these implants and sees them on the market much sooner than 10 years from now. But still, while he already feels it's safe, a trial gives people the data they need. A lot of people would ask why even have a trial for saline implants. Well, the reason that these need to really go through a trial is because it's not one shell. It's actually a shell within a shell. And that is a new spin on breast implants. Back in Texas, Marlin had her surgery about five months ago, and she's more than pleased with the results. I love the way they look and they feel. Um, there's, I have no complaints whatsoever. And as for the fact that there's money in the bank at the end? It's better than what I expected. I'm Lisa Siegel, News Central. Several local doctors are still accepting patients for the trial. For more information, just go to kkl9.com and click on Seen on TV.